Hello everyone, welcome back to another Figma file tutorial on SFUI. Today I'm going to be covering the drop-down component and just how to use it and how to do some basic customization on it. So to get started, uh, these are the master components. This is what it looks like on desktop and this is what it looks like on mobile. And basically, um, I'm just going to show real quick, I think on the category page there's a good example of what it looks like on both. So here's um, the drop down component on desktop. So it looks like here we're using actually an outdated component, which is the select drop down. It's actually not the one we want to use here anyway. We actually want to use just the drop down component from desktop. So you can see out of the box, it kind of looks like this the way it's sized. I'm just going to reset all overrides to make it easy to look at. It shows four options at once. You can just um, collapse this like this if you want less or you can just expand it further down if you want more. Uh, there's, I think there's like a total of six, but the more you add to the master component, the more you can just drag this down. So here we need, um, I think three. So we're gonna have latest price and relevant. So that's what basically what it looks like on desktop. There's not really um, too much to look at as you'd expect, there's um, it uses the button font because this is technically a button inside of the dropdown. Um, so any way that you change the button font or if you want to specifically go and change the font for this component specifically, you can just um, change the font on the master component for any one of these. So these are like the element level components that build out that are used to form the full co usable components. So changing the styling on any one of these is going to help you change the styling down here. Um, so yeah, uh, for this, so if you just change the label over here, it's going to update the styling over here. So if we make this danger, um, as you can see, everything gets updated so you can imagine how that would work. Um, on mobile, the way this works is, so let's say this is our category page. Let's just make a copy of it. So let's say this is our category page. And uh, 812 is the size we want. And let's say a user clicks on this select button right here. So the way this drop down opens from the bottom, this. Uh, and we need to bring up, ooh, okay, so it looks like we can't have this be fixed position when scrolling, or else it's not gonna, so this opens up at the uppermost Z index, basically. It's at the top level in a way. Um, yeah, uh, also, I think it'd be nice to have a backdrop here. I wonder if we have a backdrop component. No, we do not. So it looks like that's something I'll be adding is just a backdrop component so you can have one consistent look for your backdrops and that's something we'll um, add to the actual component system too some, at some point. On mobile, there's a few more extra options. So you get the title of the dropdown that you're using. So sort products is the title and we have the same, what was the desktop one? latest price and relevant. So there you go. And then similar to the desktop component, just by expanding this, you can reveal more options or less options. Um, if you know you're going to want more, it's better to do reveal those before or else these will be stuck down here. So yeah, there you go. So that's basically how to use this component. Um, so one thing that you might want to do is change the border radius on this. So you can kind of go to the top and just add a new border radius. And I don't know how easy it is to see, but it's kind of right there. Maybe we can make it a little bit more intense. Um, so we like 16, 16. So it's kind of nice and rounded if that's what your theme is. And you can kind of change, mess with the drop shadow a little bit, maybe make it a little bit more uh, stand out a little bit more, maybe up the blur and maybe up the opacity. So that way maybe it just stands out a little bit more on top of your content. So whatever changes you do, just make sure that you communicate them properly to your 
when you do your developer handoff just to make it easy. So if you update the box shadow, I think if we go into inspect, it gives us the box shadow value right here. So you can just tell them to, hey, just go and check in over here um, what color you've used. So this is the background color is just see white. Um, stuff like that. Awesome. So yeah, that's roughly what you're going to be doing. Same thing over here is coming over here and you can just add a border radius to the whole thing. Maybe say it's like 16. So now your whole drop down has a border radius. So now when you come over here and take a look at it on desktop, it kind of has this nice bubbly look to it. I think that's all really that what you would mainly want to do with customization. The other thing would be maybe like changing the height of this something like that, the height of each element, or what else is there? That's all I can really think of, so that's it for how to customize the drop-down component. Let me know if you have any questions about how any of that works, and I'll see you in the next video.